Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to do a Telegram bot integration with Google Sheets, considering the case of lead management. First, I will show you a quick demo on how to create and manage leads into Google Sheet from Telegram bot. On the left side of your screen, you can see my mobile screen with the Telegram app open, showing the lead manager bot. And on the right, you are seeing my Google Sheet, which is set up to receive the leads. Now, watch as I type new lead into the bot. It will start asking a series of questions. First, it's asking me for the company name. Then, it's asking me for contact information. Then, lead source. Then, it's asking for any notes. As soon as I send the message, the lead has been instantly added to the Google Sheet. Now, let's try finding any specific lead from the record in our sheet. I will find a lead from the company named TechWave and hit send. You can see I got the lead information related to that. Next, suppose I just finished a call with my previously created lead contact person named John Doe and want to update the lead status. I'll type slash find John Doe. The bot displays the lead details for the lead, name, company, contact, status as new, and more, with a grid of interactive buttons. Now, I want to change its status to contacted. For that, I will click the contacted button. The bot confirms status updated to contacted, and you can see the Google Sheet instantly reflect this change. Suppose I want to contact him again, then I can click schedule follow-up. It will ask me to type in the date in the specified format. I will type another date and hit send. The bot confirms the follow-up is scheduled and the sheet updates with the follow-up date. This real-time sync keeps everything on track. If you want to search for all qualified leads, then type slash status qualified. If you want to see four recent leads, type in slash recent lead four. And here you see it showing me four recent leads. Cool, isn't it? Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. That really helps me in bringing you more free and useful content like this. Now, we will walk you through setting up your Telegram bot lead management system from scratch. The minimum things you are required to have are a Google account and a Telegram account. First, open your Telegram account and search for Botfather. This is the official bot created by Telegram for you to create and manage all your new bots. Here, you need to start a conversation by typing the command dash new bot. It will first ask you for a display name for your bot. You can type anything that makes sense to you. Then, it will ask for a bot username. This name must be unique and, importantly, it must end with the word bot. Once you choose the name, the bot will be instantly created and you will be provided with a crucial bot access token. Be sure to copy this token immediately. We will use it to securely access and interact with our bot from everywhere else, like our spreadsheet. Next, we need to set up the Google spreadsheet itself. Start by making a copy of the spreadsheet template linked in the description below. Once it's open, go to the extensions menu and select App Script to open the editor. Next, it's time to deploy the script. Click Deploy in the top right corner, then select New Deployment. Choose Web App as the deployment type. In the settings, add a description, like version 1. Under Execute As, select Me. For who has access, choose anyone. Then hit Deploy. Google will prompt you to authorize the app. Follow the steps to grant permissions. Once deployed, you'll get a web app URL. Copy it, it's super important for the connection. If you ever need it again, find it under Manage Deployments. Final integration. Back in your spreadsheet, look for the Telegram Bot custom menu. Click it, select Enter Bot Token. We will enter the bot token we copied earlier. You'll click through the confirmations to finalize it. Next, we will enter the webhook URL we just copied from our deployment and save it. Next, we will enter the spreadsheet ID. I can copy it from the URL of the spreadsheet. 
paste it, and then save it. Finally, all our basic ingredients are ready. We just have to set up the final integration by clicking the Setup Telegram Bot Integration option. Now, everything is fully connected and operational. To test it, open your Telegram app and start interacting with your new bot. Start by typing slash command slash new lead. Then continue answering a series of questions pertaining to the new lead. And finally, you will have your new lead created in the sheet. You can also try updating the lead status within the bot to see that change reflected in the sheet. And there you go. You've just built your own automated lead management system. Understanding the code architecture? Now that we've seen how the bot works in practice, let's explore the code that makes all of this magic happen. This system is built on Google Apps Script, which means all of our code runs directly within Google's cloud infrastructure, triggered by webhook calls from Telegram. At the heart of our entire system is code.js. Think of this as the front door to our application. Every time you send a message to the bot, Telegram sends an HTTP request to our deployed web application, and that request lands here in the do post function. This is what we call a webhook endpoint. The function receives the incoming update from Telegram, parses it, and decides what to do with it. If it's a regular text message, it routes to handle message. If it's someone clicking a button in the bot interface, it goes to handle callback query. Right alongside the main handler, we have the onOpen function, which creates that custom menu you see in the Google Sheet interface. This is what lets you enter your bot token and webhook URL, spreadsheet ID, through a friendly dialog box rather than having to edit code files directly. The menu setup integration function brings everything together by calling set webhook, which tells Telegram where to send all future updates for your bot. The other two menus let you check webhook status and delete them if needed. Let's move to config.js, which is our configuration hub. This file defines all the constants that our application needs to function. Below that, you'll see the columns object, which maps each column in our spreadsheet to a specific index. This is how our code knows that column A is the lead ID, column B is the date added, column C is the source, and so on. The statuses object defines all the possible states a lead can be in, from new to contacted, qualified, proposal sent, negotiation, won, or lost. Notice the helper functions at the bottom like getBotToken and setBotToken. These interact with Google Apps Script's property service, which provides secure, persistent storage for sensitive configuration values. This is much safer than hard-coding tokens directly into your script files. Now let's look at conversationhandler.js, which handles the multi-step interactive flows. When you type new lead into the bot and it starts asking you questions one by one, that's this file in action. The conversation state for each user is stored in script properties, using their user ID as a key. The start new lead conversation function kicks things off by creating a state object that tracks what type of conversation we're in, which step we're on, and what data we've collected so far. Then, Handle New Lead Conversation processes each user response step by step. First, it asks for the client name, then the company, then the contact information, then the lead source, and finally any notes. Each time you respond, your answer is saved into the state object and the conversation advances to the next step. Once all the information is collected, it calls Create Lead to save everything to the spreadsheet and clears the conversation state. This same pattern is used for other multi-step flows, like adding notes and scheduling follow-ups. The beauty of this approach is that each user can be in their own independent conversation, all tracked separately. Next up is commandhandlers.js, where all the slash commands are processed. When you type something like find Acme in the bot, the text is split into the command part and the arguments. The handle find command function takes that search term and passes it to the find leads function from sheet operations. If exactly one lead is found, it displays the full lead details along with action buttons for updating the status or scheduling a follow-up. If multiple leads are found, it shows a summary list. The handle myLeads command retrieves all leads associated with your user ID and groups them by status, giving you a nice organized view of your entire pipeline. Handle recent leads command shows the most recently added leads across all users. 
The handle callback query is particularly interesting because it processes button clicks from the inline keyboards. When you click Marcus contacted, Telegram sends a callback query with data like status underscore LD1001 underscore contacted. This function parses that callback data, extracts the lead ID and new status, updates the spreadsheet, and then edits the original message to show the confirmation. The real database magic happens in SheetOperations.js. This is our data layer, responsible for all interactions with the Google Sheet. Every function here reads from or writes to the spreadsheet. The create lead function generates a unique lead ID by scanning existing IDs and incrementing the highest number found, formats the current timestamp, and appends a new row to the sheet with all the lead data. The find leads function searches through all rows looking for matches in the client name, company name, or lead ID fields. Get leads by user filters leads by the sales rep column to show only leads belonging to a specific user. Update lead status locates a lead by its ID and updates both the status column and the last update timestamp. Add note to lead is clever because it appends new notes to existing ones with a timestamp, creating a chronological log of all interactions. The get follow-ups do function compares the follow-up date column against today's date and returns all matching leads. At the bottom, you'll see helper functions like parse lead from row, which converts a raw spreadsheet row into a structured lead object, and get daily statistics, which counts how many leads were added or updated today for reporting purposes. Moving to telegramutilities.js, this is our communication layer with Telegram's API. Every message sent to the bot goes through one of these functions. The send message function is the workhorse, making an HTTP POST request to Telegram send message endpoint with your chat ID and text. Send message with keyboard does the same thing, but includes an inline keyboard structure so users can click buttons. Edit message modifies an existing message, which is what happens when you update a lead status and see the message change from Marcus contacted to status updated to contacted. Answer callback query sends a quick response to button clicks, showing a little pop-up notification. The formatting functions, like format lead message and format leads list, convert our lead objects into nicely formatted markdown text with emojis and proper structure. Create status update keyboard generates that grid of buttons you see when viewing a lead with options to change the status, schedule a follow-up, or add a note. That's it for the code overview. If this tutorial helped you, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more time-saving tips like this. Got questions or want to share your automation ideas? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.